Hey, what's happening? So in a recent video, I showed myself playing the bass through the OP-1 um, and recording live and uh, recording to the record function on the OP-1. I got a couple questions about how that works, how I wire it up, so I thought I'd make a short video talking about how you can connect your guitar or your bass to the OP-1 for performances. So it's pretty simple. Uh, the main thing that you need is just some way of connecting the instrument cable to the OP-1. So the OP-1, of course, has eighth inch jacks. Most guitar cables are quarter inch jacks. So you need something like this, which it's like an eighth inch to quarter inch. I got this on Amazon for, I think, like eight bucks. Uh, you can find them there. I'll put a link to it in the description. You can check it out. Um, and you just plug that into the input jack. The first way that you can record is if you already have your loop set up, but you need to add bass, you can hit record and play on your OP-1 and that will start the loop playing while recording. When it comes around, you can start your bass line and you can record it live. At the end of that loop, it will capture your bass line and start playing it. You stop playing, hit stop, you're captured. That's one way to do it. The way that I've demonstrated in some of my Instagram videos and some videos here on YouTube have been to actually just record directly to the record, you know, to the vinyl. So I have the tape loop playing, and I don't actually record the bass into the loop. I just play through it as I'm recording to the vinyl. So let me turn the camera and I'll show you exactly how I do that. Okay, so here we are at the OP-1. Now I'm gonna show the two different methods that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. The first one is to simply choose an empty track, say track four. I have my bass plugged in direct. And what you do is you go to the synth, choose the sampler. Once you're on the sampler, hit the sample button up here in the top right. That will bring up the sampler. And now you might choose to boost the gain by turning this knob here. That will boost the gain. You return to the tape, you hit the sample button, and now you can see we have the little line input indicator saying that if I were to play the bass now, I would now hear it through the OP-1. Hit record and play at the same time. That will start the loop going and it will be recording as I go. And I won't play anything until the beginning of the loop. Now I start playing and it's capturing my bass or my guitar live along with the loop. So you would record to this just as you would with the internal instruments, the internal synth engines on the OP-1. And this way, now you have a live instrument loop on your OP-1. Okay, so now the method of recording directly to the vinyl. So this is what I would do if I was going to be recording a video or if I wanted to record, say, a guitar solo that goes over the total loop length. This will record directly to vinyl so I can record my entire guitar take and it will just capture the entire take in one go. So you do the same method, make sure you're on the synth sampler, go back to tape, hit the sample button so that you're indicating that you have the line in coming through the OP-1. Now, if you were to play, you'd be able to hear your instrument. And again, if it's too quiet, go to the synth, go to the sampler and boost this. So the downside to using this technique is that your gain might be a little bit quiet. So if your instrument is a little bit quiet, you can do a couple of things. You can boost the gain here. Another option is to go to the tape, go to the mixer. And here you see I was recording on track four and I set all of these other ones very, very low, but I kept that one really loud. And that allows the bass to be heard over the other tracks. So in order to do the record to vinyl method, all you do is you go to vinyl, hit record on the vinyl. Now the vinyl is recording. Go back to the tape. You just hit play. Make sure again that your line is on. Hit play. And now as I play along with the tape, it's recording directly to vinyl. So this is playing. It will record directly to the album. When you're done, stop the tape. Go back to the album. Hit stop and now captured onto the album part of the OP-1, 
is your complete live take with your live guitar, your live bass. Now to export this, if you don't know how to do this, you go shift album. This turns the OP1 into disc mode by pushing three. You hit disc. If you were connected to a computer, your OP1 shows up just as a removable disc, like as if you put a USB drive into your computer, drag the album from the OP1 into your computer, export it, add it to a video, do whatever you want with it. And that's about it. Some of the limitations that I found in doing this, going directly from the bass into the OP1, is that sometimes your gain can be a little bit too low. To get over this, you could put it through a booster pedal, you could send it through a DI box or send it out of the output on your amp, um, but I don't do that. I just run the bass through the OP-1. I make sure that the level within the OP-1 is set high. And oftentimes I'll have to turn down the other channels and make sure that the channel that I'm playing through is nice and loud so that the bass can be on top. I'm primarily doing this technique for Instagram videos and just for fun. I'm not really making complete tracks on it. Um, if I were to do that, I would, I would need to set the bass as high in the mix. It'd be a little bit easier to find a comfortable spot for the bass just going directly in. Another thing to consider too is the instrument that you're using. If you're using a guitar, it likely has passive pickups, uh, just like this bass. Passive pickups are going to be a little weaker. If I were to play an active bass, if I were to play a guitar with active pickups or even just hot pickups, hot wired pickups, you wouldn't have as much of a problem with the gain going into the OP-1. But it works great. It sounds pretty good. As long as your instrument sounds pretty good, it's going to sound all right in the OP-1. You can add effects to it. Uh, it's pretty fun. So that's it. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope it showed how simple it is to connect an instrument to your OP-1 for recording, performances, um, filming content, whatever you want to do. If this content was useful for you, I make a lot of videos about uh, the bass and I often feature the OP-1. So if you enjoy this type of content, make sure you hit subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.